Okay, I had a couple people ask me if you wanted to take more arrows than were on the quiver of your bow, how would you do it? This is the October Mountain Arrow Guard Arrow Tube. Now, I have a couple of these and they're not they're not perfect. Like uh they're not super strong like you can see I can I can bend that a little bit. So you don't want to lay it in your truck and put some heavy stuff on it. You really don't. It does take 12 arrows if you know how to do it. And it does have you're probably not going to be able to see that. I'm probably going to have to go for a close up. When you find to get it adjusted for how long you want, it's not perfect at staying in place. I'm going to show you how to fix that too. It does come with a strap, so you could use it as an arrow quiver across your back. Or uh, Normally, if I am going to take this, I would shove it in the side of my pack and uh, bring it in. Now, a lot of guys will use these, you know, if they're going in for, say, and normally it's done for elk. If you're going in for a 7 or 10 day uh, multi-camp for elk, basically. I've never hunted elk. It's probably, I don't know probably one of the only animals I haven't hunted but um, you would take this inside your pack if you went in and a lot of guys will use it for that now if you're also going in with your vehicle say on public land and you set up camp for four days and you got a base camp well you probably take one or two of these leave them in your vehicle and uh, this way if you find out you need something you need an arrow or you bust an arrow I mean, you could very well drop your bow out of the tree and smash all your arrows. I mean, anything can happen. So it's better to be prepared so your trip is not ended. Now, for example, you'll notice that when I pull back on the bow, I have this thing around my wrist. And that's what pulls back on the string. Now, if that was to break, and they do break, that's the end of your hunting trip. I always carry two, like the one that's on my bow that is on my wrist, and then I carry a... A backup one inside my pack. I've never had a break but if it ever did I would have that um, actually sitting in there. But you do need some form of case if you're planning on bringing in more arrows to keep those arrows well protected. Now since you're away before I bring this in close okay you'll see when I pull this out how that's designed and holds those arrows in there and it comes with these rubber things that you snap your arrows into so it's pretty pretty tight there's no rattle now some people reported in uh, reviews that it would bounce around a little bit like this you probably need to cut a small piece of foam to put in the bottom so your arrows would sit in the foam and a small piece of foam in the top and then uh, you won't get into that rattle and it'll give it a little bit more cushion. So you do got to do a little modding if you buy this. And uh, it just seems to be the way of hunting, believe it or not. Even when you buy something, whether it's a tree stand or whatever it is, you're always modding. You're always trying to figure out, well, when I put that down, it bangs. So can I put some insulating tape there? Can I use some hockey tape? I mean, you're always trying to remove sound it's something you constantly fight with so let me bring you in close with this october mountain arrow guard and uh, i'll show you how to actually use it because it took me a little while to figure this out it wasn't something i picked up in two minutes and i was ready to go it was very confusing i would say it took me a good half an hour i played with it and until i got it so i'll show you how to put your arrows in and i'll show you how to get the distance with this thing and uh some of the mods and hacks that you're probably gonna gonna do. So let's go in for a close-up. All right, this October Mountain uh, Arrow Guard is pretty impressive. I've got black gloves on because, and somebody's gonna ask, because I wrestle with my German Shepherd all the time and she just marks me up like crazy. So let's notice a couple things about this first, okay? Over here, there's an arrow going left and an arrow going down. Now, when you get this, you'll see these 
half circles here. I'm going to twist it, and you'll notice. Okay, I need to take the lid off for you to see this. You'll notice when I push up, it goes, you know, the arrows come out, so it has to be longer, right? When I pull down. Now, when you get it where you want, you got to give it a twist toward these half moons. And if it doesn't go, move it up a bit until you get... Until you get that spot, and you notice that, oh, there it is. It finally moved. You notice that wasn't so easy. You got to move it up and down until it slides into these things. Now, this can still find its way back, right? Now, what I would suggest: take duct tape, electrical tape, and just tape this here, so that way it never moves. And now you've actually got some electrical tape in case of survival. Now what's really kind of wacky with this thing is they want to put their brand somewhere on it, right? So they put this plastic lid on it with their sticker on the inside. This is how they brand it. And I was like, this was so stupid. Like, I really, if you find anything really dumb about this, it's this. And you, even if you take the sticker out, you're not going to get nothing in there. Um, I don't know, maybe some char cloth. Um, Maybe a a thing to clean your lenses. I don't know. You might get something if you want to yank that out. That's for sure. Now, like I said, when you pull this out. Now, the biggest thing to getting 12 arrows in this thing. Okay, is making sure you go back and forth. So, for example. I'll pull this one out here. And you'll notice. Okay, you notice it's got the point sticking up. You see that? And the next one is going to be the feathers sticking up. You see that? And and that's the way you got to do it. You got to do point up, feathers up, point up, feathers up, point up, feathers up, and basically go back and forth with this October mountain arrow holder and if you do that then you'll get them all 12 arrows inside this thing now understand I got target points on here you don't want to put broadheads on here um, you can even leave the target points off but you want to make sure that you have your broadheads kept in a separate package and you're putting these in with the target heads or without the target heads, it's your choice. Now when you're done, make sure you go through and check all your feathers. Make sure they're not crumpled up. Like this one here is crumpled up, see that? Make sure you give them a twist and get them out of that crumpleness, all right? This one's crumpled too. And this is what you're doing now then check your other side of your feathers and uh, make sure they're not crumpled up and there you go so now we got 12 arrows ready to take with us and like I said you can put a piece of foam in the bottom piece of foam in the top Electrical tape this or duct tape this around the side there and uh, You're pretty much ready to go now the October mountain arrow holder You have to unloosen the strap when you get it to expand it if you don't uh, unloose that strap You're not going to be able to expand, uh, expand it So there's a little bit of a review also a tutorial on how to use it and uh, if you happen to own it and come across this video you're probably going to be like oh my god I just saved you 30 minutes of trying to figure it out but like I said this ain't super thick I mean this piece up here where it sticks out is half the protection to the rest this is a little thicker because we got more to it but it's not super super hard or anything so yes it will protect your arrows um, just don't throw heavy stuff on it 
and uh, make sure you got it separate from everything else and you'll probably be okay and for the price and for what it does uh, as far as I'm concerned it's well worth it could they improve it sure they could um, but it is what it is a lot of people I've seen in the reviews were like it only holds six arrows they didn't understand you put your arrows back and forth a few people couldn't figure out how to extend it they probably gave it 10 minutes and said they gave up it, it took me a while to figure it out and uh, so if you know what you're doing well I just saved you half an hour you're gonna be able to do it in five minutes now so uh, there's a quick review on the October Mountain uh, arrow holder and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one